Hey everybody, this is Tony, and I do stuff, and it's hot out here. My hedges need to be trimmed, as well as my tree. Don't think I have to worry about trimming this one. Over and done with. I've had this corded Black & Decker for, man, over 20 years. And this unit has served me well. Not taking anything away from it, but it was time for an upgrade. I am a longtime fan of Steel products. They perform well and they're reliable. I have a new toy. I've just been waiting for an opportunity to unbox it. I purchased from a local vendor in the community. You could probably find it cheaper online, but I like supporting my local vendors. So without wasting a bunch of time, let's uh, open it up. Nicely packaged. Oh, look at that. I am going to consume this manual in its entirety, put the battery on charge, and when I come back, we're gonna put this sucker to the test. See you in a little bit. Less than 20 minutes later, battery's fully charged. Gotta say, this thing uh, looks very sexy for a power tool, if you're into that kind of thing. Look at the teeth on this thing. Wow. I mean, if you can get just an idea of how thick these, the trough is on this. I mean, it's the size of my thumb. Here's, here's my old Black & Decker. Significant difference. And if you wanted to compare the length it's about a 20 and a half inch cut compared to a 15 and a half, almost 16 inch cut. The unit has several safety features on it. It's got a trigger, it's got an ergo latch, as so they call it, and it's got a trigger lock that can be actuated from either side, whether you're right handed or left handed. But you can't pull the trigger until you actuate that latch. There's also a latch up front and it has a switch on it. So you basically got to have your hand up here on this latch, unlock this and back here all at the same time to get this thing to run. And the battery compartment has a safety latch on it too. So when you put the battery in you drop it in and it clicks the first time. It's still not in there yet. So you can actuate things. You gotta push it a second time to get it all the way down. Then the unit will run. Either one of these that you let go, whether it be the front or the rear, either one of these will stop the unit from running. They did their best to try and make it idiot proof. This display on the battery also doubles as a troubleshooting guide. It'll let you know if the motor's overheated, if there's something wrong with the circuitry in the motor, if there's something wrong with the unit. Enough messing around. Let's uh, give her a spin. Nope. 
you probably can't hear it, but the wind has picked up significantly. I've got thunder and lightning going on out here, so I'm gonna have to cut this video short and do the tree, maybe tomorrow. Cause the last thing I need is to get hit by lightning. If you can look there, you can see that the wind is really picking up. We're getting some serious lightning there. That's probably about five miles away. The garage door doesn't want to close because the sensors keep getting hit with rain. So I'm going to have to do it manually. So, uh. this, this was a surprise. My neighbor delivered this by accident. So she says every now and then for her, I do something, you know, maybe fix the toilet or something minor like that. And she just feels like she has to repay me. I understand that she appreciates it, but I don't do stuff to get anything back. But this was a really nice gesture. I saw a professional guy using one of these and I said, hey, I'm gonna get one of those. And she heard that and acted on it. Sneaky, w women are sneaky. That's, that's what they do. But thank you to my neighbor. I will not call her name, but thank you so much. Anyway, we'll get back to the steel HSA 50 in a little bit. Next day, it's still hot out here. Uh, man, I'm gonna have to change hats here. Let's go for the banana boat, banana boat hat. Here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and fire the uh, HS50 up and we're gonna tackle that tree. If you've seen my previous video, gotta take a precaution here. Just need to verify that there's no birds in this nest. Okay, looks like the nest is empty. I did not charge the battery, so we're still working off of the initial charge. So let's see how this goes. It's really hard to describe how well this trimmer cuts. If I had to sum it up in one word, addictive. The trimmer cuts so well that it makes you wanna to continue to cut just more and more. And had I done that, my tree would probably look like a Tootsie Roll Pop by the time I was done. I love the safety features, the four handle safety switch, the rear trigger safety, the handle guard grip safety. The battery having two positions, one for carrying and one for actually running the unit. The robustness of the blades, the length of the cut, just everything about it. I know I have lots of steel products, not lots, three to be precise. And I may be a little biased, but they've been with me for more than 20 years. And I've had very few problems that weren't contributed to something I didn't do, like maintenance. This product, I do believe, will be with me for a long time. I don't think you can go wrong. I feel it's worth every penny I paid for it. Once again, this is Tony, and I do stuff. I have a new hedge trimmer.